Got a minute, Hawk? I know this is ancient history, but remember that high town house Bartrand barricaded himself in? Bartrand doesn't exactly need the place now that he's in the sanitarium. I've been trying to sell it. I assume there's not much interest in it. No. There's a really small number of people who want expensive, blood-covered houses in Hightown. I found a minor noble in Ravane who bought the place sight unseen. But now there's a problem. They say the place is... haunted. Anyone who knew the house's history would attribute every noise in the night to ghosts. I may have neglected to mention the mansion's a colorful past to the buyer. They've noticed some minor problems. Uh, voices whispering in the walls, apparitions, things moving on their own. My hope is it's a relic Bartran brought back from the deep roads. We smash it, and the haunting stops. What happens if we do nothing? Best case? They drag me before the Seneschal and accuse me of fraud. The worst case involves Antivan crows. Can't you do this yourself? Hawk, I'm a businessman. Now and then, I shoot people. I don't know anything about ghosts or magic. It's entirely possible that even if I find the thing that's causing the trouble, I won't be able to stop it on my own. I'm not an expert on hauntings, but what if smashing something does not make the problem go away? Ah, that's where things get tricky. You come from a family with magic, Hawk. You must have experience dealing with the weird. I'm sure you'll be able to figure something out that will help. Very well. We'll investigate the mansion. Again. Thanks, Hawk. I knew you wouldn't let me down. I learned that the King of Ferelden loves cheese. He's one of us. Another of our Draste's chosen. that music? Where is that coming from? I don't hear anything. I like this less and less by the minute. <sighs> I guess the buyer wasn't kidding. He's not supposed to do that, is it? Where is that voice coming from? 
What voice? I can barely hear it. I wish I could make out the words. I don't think I can do that. Hello? Is there a ghost? Would you stop that, please? We're getting closer. I can feel it, Hawk. Look at this. My brother's junk was left here. You wouldn't know it, but Bartrand was a sentimentalist. This came from our estate in Orzammar. When I was seven, I knocked over one of Mother's plates and broke it. <laughs> My brother yelled at me for an hour. This was made by the artisans of House Saldras. The clay was from the Adros Etuna River, which never sees the sun! Arr! He was that upset over a dish? I don't think it was a dish to Bartrand. That stupid plate was the whole city of Orzammar to him. What's going on here? There's no way the veil could be torn this badly. This isn't being caused by some random artifact. The idol is still in the house, Hawk. It has to be. Those flaming knickers. Varric, is that what you've been hearing? No. Good. Then I'm not going crazy. you a hand with that. Piece of cake. Are you real? You've got to get out of here before it comes back. Where's the idol? What idol? Don't waste my time with your lies. Tell me where it is. Take it easy, Varric. She's telling us what she can. She's hiding something, Hawk. Don't lie to me. I know it's here. You must have found it. I swear. I don't know anything about an idol. Please. Maker, no. It's starting again.
This is a piece of the idol. No, oh, I should have known Bartran would lie to me. Of course he'd keep a piece of the statue for himself. Think of what we could do with this. Varric, you've been acting strangely since we arrived. I don't think you want to keep that shard. I know you're just trying to look out for me, Hawk. But I can handle this. It's not the whole idol. It's just a sliver. I need this thing. Six years of my life have gone into this. And there we go again. This thing's magic seemed only more potent when broken. The shard is my only hope of curing Bartrand. It's my only chance to set any of this right. Listen to yourself, Varric. It's already controlling you. You have to let it go. You're not listening, Hawk. I know I can handle this shard. I'm worried, Varric. You're beginning to sound exactly like Bartrand. Fine. I don't really want to argue about this anyway. Take it. It's your problem now. Maybe Enchantment Boy can dispose of the thing for you. That was the right decision, Hawk. You've saved him great pain. Let's go. I think I could use some air. Did you ever notice how cold pavement is here? And Arana Tishan's sister. Think you can do something with this, Sandal? Is that lyrium? I've never seen anything like that. It's dangerous. Varric suggested Sandal might be able to dispose of it. I think my boy can do better than that. Oh, enchantment. Listen, Hawk. I don't know what came over me back there in Bartrand's house. I'm glad you're watching my back. You had me worried there. You never have to worry about me, Hawk. What are you having? Edwina, let's get a couple of drinks here. Hawk? Ugh. This is awkward. Whatever it is, I'll hear you out, Varric. Maker, I hate it when you're reasonable. Call me a filthy nug licker once in a while, for pity's sake. Look, I just want to say, it has been an honor knowing you. You're a good friend, Varric. I know. It's hard to imagine what you'd do without me. You know it's six years today. Six years since I found you dragging your tail out of Bartran's office. <laughs> Here's to whatever comes next. <laughs> <laughs> 